Are you ready to look at tons of old stuff? I know I am. There are some amazing deals here today, and I will show you as many price tags as I can find. This is my very favorite place to hunt for vintage and antiques. You can find out more about this flea market in the first video of this series. I'll put a card here for you. You click on that and it'll take you to the playlist where you can binge watch vintage and antiques until your heart's content. Personally, it's something I never get tired of, which is why I am so excited to announce that this antique vintage flea market has added a second day each month. That means I can bring you twice as many flea market videos. So if you're new here or you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. We absolutely love looking at old stuff. And if you do too, we would love to have you join our happy growing little YouTube family. Hello, I'm Tanya and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I fell in love for the first time today, right here. Oh wow. This Art Deco wardrobe with drawers is an absolute stunner. It's even got a mirror to go with it. I was just noticing that. How much is this? 180 for the dog. 180? No, just 80. 80? Yeah. Clearly I was shocked. $80 for this baby? That is a steal. <sighs> It broke my heart not to pick it up, but I have a list today and I'm going to strictly stick to it. I'll show you what I'm looking for real quick. Today I'm looking for a mirror to prop up on my fireplace. I just feel like this is a little bit boring. And artwork for my entryway. Also, tons of art to complete my gallery wall on this giant, giant wall in my on my stairwell. But as usual, I will show you everything that I possibly can that's here, not just the stuff I'm looking for. And I'll show you the stuff that I bought at the end, so wish me luck. <laughs> How much for this one? One of my very favorite things about this flea market is that it's different every single time. I never know what to expect. It's always a complete surprise. Today we're here in Sacramento, California. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ah, perfect, thank you. <laughs> Before I forget, if you wanna know the address to this flea market, it's in the description box below, along with my channel link and links to some of my favorite and most recent videos. Five bucks a piece. Well, I'm gonna, I've got an old, you know, 
I bought a piece of art here, but I was so excited about it. I forgot to film it, but I promise I'll show it to you at the end. The Lucite Grapes table lamp is so amazing. I've never seen one before. I'm sure there are other ones, but I've not seen them. Oh, this or this? Mother's wedding present, 1939. Oh, yeah. Tough world to live in now. Yeah, I get one of you. That's for sure. There it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> I gotta see how many I get. Uno, due. So pretty, yes. <laughs> so much prettier. These buttery yellow chairs are so gorgeous, but there's no way I could fit them in my car. And I wanted this mirror with everything in me, but because it's wood, it would be way too heavy for my walls because I have lath and plaster. Yeah. We had to redo the bungalow. Oh, wow. And in the attic. I loved this booth. It was one of my favorites. Can you tell? There was an oil painting at this booth that was so gorgeous, right behind the baby actually. So pretty, but it was $40 and it was really hard to do when I was getting art and frames for $5. Wait till you see the beautiful glass here though. Just gorgeous, especially if you love carnival glass. Indiana glass, always pretty. And here comes the Fenton Parade. Check out the edges on these Fenton glass bowls. Gorgeous. How cute is this? It's the little golden owl from Clash of the Titans. I think his name was Bubo, but he's a radio. These Lucite stools belong in the trendiest house in town. They're gorgeous. Relax by all means. Someone has to take a picture of the place. Yes, you do. Look how cute that 
To keep it hanging? No. Oh yeah, Roger's back. Uh, I think H is this way. Okay. But I could be... No, no, no. I think H is that way. Okay. Um, when you get to that end, they have the letter numbers. That'd be cute for a kitchen, huh? Which one? That welcome sign. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. That's just chalk. You can wipe that off and put whatever you want. I like that idea. Put, you could put, right, like dinner or whatever. Yeah, there's, a, there's a chalkboard too. Oh, wow. I think Burns you'll ever have. I, I, I just think it's either. exquisite. I've never seen this. I mean, in the bathroom, you could put. Well, there's some place hangers in the easel box, I think. Oh, I have got those two. Oh, you do? Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Great find. Yeah. 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 Ye
Again, not buying furniture today, but I cannot believe this was only $60. So gorgeous. The best deals I think I've ever seen here on furniture are going on today. 45 for both. 45 for both? The thing about flea market shopping and furniture is that you have to come prepared. It's not like a store where you could buy it and come pick it up later. You have to have the hands ready to help you move it and somebody ready to help you move it at home. Gotcha. Hey. Look how cool this set is. No, I'll just walk it. I knew he'd say hi. 
Um, kind of constantly. <laughs> Questions about some of the... Yeah, I, I remember the vibe of your booth, so I always know it's you. Oh wait, I've got a one. I got two dollars. Well, hey. No, this is the, the, the biggest one right now, yeah. So are you bringing the other small ones out later? Smaller than this also. Okay, are they runners or are they... Uh, I have runners. No, no, I don't have no runners right now. Okay. Probably one. Do you take cards or cash um, only? Cash. Put it on, on the wall, front, top of door, the window, or whatever. Or you can you can do anything with it. It's just a really special uh, made. It's very cool. Oh, these are beautiful. I have been looking for rugs, vintage rugs, forever. He doesn't happen to have the size that I need in this van full of rugs today, but he said he will be back to the next one and he can bring the sizes that I need and the colors that I need. And I will have a choice. I am so excited. Even though I didn't get anything here, this is still a win or a potential win at least. This one here? Yeah, this one. How old is it? It's like a hundred years. Wow. It's very pretty. How much is this one? Oh my, I was using, asking like 500 for this, but now I can do like three. Oh wow. Oh, that one's bigger. Track. Time and I have this one right here. This is the last one. This is. Oh wow! Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, take your time. I think I'm looking up. Hello, you. That's not what that guy does. So most of this stuff... Yeah. Um,
If this oil painting wasn't $500, it would be on my wall right now. Yep, you share it. This is one of my very favorite booths. It's usually packed with people, but today I just showed up at the right time and there's almost nobody here. So I'm gonna take you on a tour of the entire thing. It's always full because it's always packed with all kinds of different stuff. It's phenomenal. We're gonna look at every table. Yeah, 
is 30 down at the same one. All one is 10 down. This one is how much? 30. 30? I swear this fly, honestly. <laughs> Um, not yet, but I'll come back for a water if that's okay. Thank you. Oh no, I think it's a later they're gonna come. So, uh, the Karen is all. I love it. I definitely will. <laughs> if everybody's leaving their stuff here, they will. <laughs> I bet most people will because they're bigger pieces.
I'm so sorry. Signs hanging over it, so it shocked me for a second.
That's off of uh, my cast I hope you enjoyed this trip. I scored. If you want to see what I got, stick around. The haul's up right now. So what I did end up buying was art and frames. 
And this one, if you remember, was at the beginning for, I think it was $5. I don't think I paid $5, over $5 for anything. It's cute, but I think I'm gonna use this frame for this other print that I got. I think I'm a fan of that. And so the other art piece will probably go in a different frame. This is my absolute favorite for sure. I actually bought the art and the frame separately and it just happened to be the perfect size. I didn't even know it. And it's signed. This might be my favorite art piece that I have right now, honestly. There's just something about it and I love it. This is an oil painting that I absolutely love. Unfortunately, it has been stored under glass, which is a problem for oil paintings. I am not sure what the damage to the actual painting is gonna look like when I take it out, but at five bucks, I had to grab it when am I ever gonna find an oil painting for $5? And it's just lovely with those dark moody colors. Love it. And this is it outside of the frame. I've taken the frame off and unfortunately, uh, it was stuck to the glass and I have lost some of the painting. So I will have to frame around that and I can't get it off to save it either. It's really on there good, real good. <laughs> so here's what I've got to work with. I did lose a big part uh, from the top, but if I reframe around it, I can save most of the painting. And the great thing is there, other than that, there was really not all that much damage done to the painting. Most of it was just collected on the glass. So it's just those spots there. Not the spots I predicted at all. <laughs> but it's absolutely stunning, I think. I just love this boat. So I got this sort of pile, if you remember, of just different uh, pictures or whatever you want to call them. And I've selected, I think I'm going with these two because I kind of like the repeated arch. So I'm probably going to use these two and reframe them in a frame, a couple of frames that I got on another trip. And so they're probably going to end up going in these I really like these, but they just don't fit in with my decor anywhere. So I'm probably gonna use these frames, at least for now, for these right here. I bought this frame and I don't have any art to go with it. Fingers crossed I'll find some art for it at the next, at the next Vintage Antique Flea Market. This one I need to reframe, but it's just so cute. Look at how sweet they are. I swear, if kids really were that sweet all the time, I'd have like 50 of them. And look at the price on it. It was 20 and they sold it for five. Here's another art piece that I got. I really did make out on art, finally. Finally, I had a big art score. I bought this frame too. I just love this one. But again, no art that size. So I'll be on the lookout for art at the next flea market, which personally I'm heading to tomorrow. This one here is one of the prints that I bought and I got all of those for a dollar a piece. And I already had that frame, so I just put it in there already. But I thought, I love that. I love the dark backgrounds so much. I picked this one up for good measure. I thought this one was very sweet. I love the frame and then Again, with the little girls, I don't know. They were just so cute today.
And lastly, I picked up this pair. It's actually from a table that broke and it is gorgeous. It was an antique table. Oops, it's turned around. But it was just too pretty to leave behind. And I've got some overhangs in my house over the windows. So I'm going to clean them up and I think they will be so pretty, possibly in my kitchen. Not quite sure which ledge I'm gonna use right now, but I think they're gonna be really pretty when they're done. And that is the end of my haul. So thank you so, so much for coming with me and keeping me company. I love and adore you all. And until next time, happy thrifting.